Don't let your leftover rotisserie chicken go to waste. Turn it into cheesy, spicy and delicious enchiladas in no time. I am your host, Hana, and welcome back to Blogging Good Food. Today we are making chicken enchiladas, a classic comfort dish that's perfect for any occasion. They are easy, flavorful and irresistible, so let's get started. Step number one, ingredients. First, get your ingredients. You need some cooked chicken. You can buy it ready-made. Some things from your cupboard like spices and beans and some flat breads. You can use wheat or corn ones. You also need some sauce for the enchiladas. You can make it yourself or buy it. And for the cheese lovers, we have a mix of different cheeses to make it extra yummy. Step number 2. Chicken mix. Let's start cooking. In a pan, heat up some spices like cumin, chili powder and paprika to make them more tasty. Then add some onion and garlic for some smell and flavor. Now the main thing are chicken. Put it in. Add some salt and pepper and mix it well with the spices. Also add a can of black beans for some smoothness and protein. See, very easy and very tasty. Step number 3. Tortilla time. Now let's warm up the tortillas so they are soft and bendy. We don't want them to break when we roll them. Put some sauce on each tortilla, then some chicken filling. Add some cheese, as much as you like. Now the fun part, roll them up and put them in a baking dish. Step number 4. Oven time. We are almost done. Put some sauce over the enchiladas, covering them well. Add more cheese on top, make it cheesy. Bake in a hot oven at 375 degree Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes or until it's bubbly and brown. Step number 5. Enjoy. And that's it. Friends chicken and gelatas ready to eat. Put them on a plate and add some extras. Fresh cilantro, chopped onions, maybe some sour cream. Every bite is a party in your mouth. So that's how you make chicken enchiladas. Remember you can change it with your favorite things. For more yummy recipes and kitchen fun, go to our website bloggingoodfood.com and follow our channel for more food videos. See you next time. Happy cooking!